Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with a Wild Eye review of Grime Wave. Grime Wave is the 2013 follow up to Gorgasm and the third film in the Gore Face Killer trilogy, also known as The Cockface Killer. It was written by Matt Hanchy and directed by Jason Mathern, who directed the first two Cockface Killer films. And like the first two films, Grime Wave was also distributed by Wild Eye Releasing. I want to start off by saying this is probably my favorite of the three. This trilogy got better with each movie. In Grime Wave, the Cockface Killer returns and just happens to intrude on an underground drug deal. In sleazy slasher fashion, he uses his favorite weapon to kill those engaging in sexual acts. Now, because of the Cockface Killer's sudden involvement in the New Orleans crime scene, two rival gangs must put aside their differences. They must work together to find and stop the Cockface Killer before he finds and kills them. Two rival news reporters are also on his tail. One of them is simply enjoying the screen time. The other is looking for a big story and hoping to get an interview with the cockface killer. As if that weren't enough, a black magic cult has summoned the uber cockface killer. He's like the uber Jason, the demonic version of the cockface killer. It all comes to a head at a local, let's just call it, climax competition wow okay well if you've seen the first two cockface killer films then you know what to expect with this one i mean it's a slasher movie featuring a killer who uses a dildo as his primary weapon there are a lot of in your face almost shocking moments just stuff you don't expect to see and stuff you don't normally see in other films they push the limits cross the line whatever it's fun You'll either really enjoy this movie or hate it, just like the other two. I personally love them, especially the sequels, first Gorgasm and now Grime Wave. Like I said, this one is probably my favorite of the three. In this one, the cockface killer fights ninjas, bikers, and the demonic version of himself. There is also a really cool kill featuring someone getting their head crushed in a recliner. Grime Wave makes you feel grimy while watching it. You almost need a shower. Just don't do anything inappropriate in there because the cockface killer will get you. There is plenty of nudity, tons of gore, a lot of sex, and so much more in Grime Wave. Big shout out to Wild Eye for releasing this trilogy, and I really hope we get a fourth one. Guys, don't forget, I, along with a bunch of others here on YouTube, will be showing our support for Wild Eye releasing next week. Did you hear? What a wild eye, dear. Instead of my usual Wild Eye Wednesday review, beginning on Sunday, I will be posting a brand new Wild Eye review each day next week. Please tune in every day as I once again review some independent horror gems during Wild Eye Week. But until then, let's discuss Grime Wave. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind, subscribe.